site man Jim is laughing at me and he should. Okay, this is why this is not a how-to channel. I was gonna say that in the beginning of the video and I thought, oh, they'll know. Welcome back to the channel. This morning I've been putting off finishing the service on the Bobcat E42 mini excavator and uh, I have to do it today. The weather's right. My grass, let's look at the grass. My grass uh, is dry enough where it's not going to, the excavator's not going to run off the grass and uh, I have some work lined up, some rental work lined up, and I gotta get this machine ready to do it. So I'm gonna change the filters, the hydraulic filters, and the property is just, just looking fantastic, if you can see it. Getting the dead trees, almost all the dead trees are down. Still have some lingering dead trees, and uh, the trees that are remaining must be healthy, more more genetically stronger trees, and they're just thriving. If you can just see it, it's like a wall of trees around that creek. Okay, let's service this machine. I have to open up the engine hood to release this side panel. And I have to change this filter and I'm going to remove this side panel. There's a filter down here that you can't see that I also have to change on it. So we're pulling those filters. Oh, and I have to pull this out. That's real complicated. Let's label this. This was not labeled very well. Okay. Kind of legible. This is a fuel filter that does not have to be changed. This is a hydraulic filter that needs to be changed. The case drain filter that needs to be changed. This is a windshield wiper fluid that I don't think I've ever filled up. I should probably do that while I have this cover off. You know, and again, the manuals say hand tighten on the stuff, on these filters. For the love of God, did that seem like it was hand tight? Oh, no, I don't like the way this is pouring out of here. wonder if there's a shut off valve. The directions didn't say there was any type of shut off valve. Totally don't know what's going on here. Okay, I, I don't know what's gonna happen guys. I've pinched off this hose Talked to my site man Jim guy site man Jim. I pinched off that hose and Hopefully it's gonna stop or slow the oil from draining. Let's let's try doing this again 
Sight man Jim is laughing at me and he should. Okay, this is why this is not a how-to channel. I was gonna say that in the beginning of the video and I thought, oh, they'll know. <sighs> this is a hydraulic line that comes down into the filter manifold. And I believe this is the radiator for the hydraulic fluid. This is the hydraulic fluid reservoir. And, and the directions did not say this. Should have clamped off uh, this hydraulic line because when I started undoing the filter it released the pressure in gravity started to drain the hydraulic fluid down and then leak out in this area so in the case drain filter I believe it's called I made a hydraulic hose clamp there oh. guys nothing's going right today in the case drain oil filter I made a hydraulic clamp out of some plywood and a big vice grip clamp and hopefully I won't have that amount of spillage. So oh, let's give this a try. Simple green is just amazing. All the oil is cleaned up. Most of it, I'd say 80%, maybe 90% off the driveway, some spots over there. So now let's reassemble. This was a disaster, but I want to thank Sightman Jim for recommending the, the hydraulic hose clamps, which I've ordered a set of those. I will be using them in the future. Also, Jim recommended a channel, How I Did It. He's a Bobcat serviceman, and after this video, I started watching some of his videos, and he just does an excellent job servicing Bobcat equipment. He's a real pro, very smart mechanic. And I told him I'd be posting this video so he could laugh at me. Thank you for tuning into the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video and hope, hope to see you on the trail.